Hi, I'm Richard Kessler of IFSI Research here at the Illinois Fire Service Institute to show a quick and easy way to inspect your SCBA face piece for thermal damage. I want to thank NIST and FSTAR for their support in producing this video. NFPA 1852, the standard on selection, care, and maintenance of open circuit, self-contained breathing apparatus, states that the face piece shall be thoroughly cleaned after each use according to the manufacturer's specifications using only those cleaning agents indicated by the manufacturer. SCBA face piece lenses shall be checked for holes, cracks, scratches, heat damaged areas, and a proper seal with the face piece material. Here we'll show a quick and easy way to inspect your face piece using a light source to generate a shadow from the lens and a backdrop for that shadow to be projected onto. Many light sources will work but we found that the soft, single source light from your cell phone's flashlight provides the best results for a typical face piece. Each of these three masks show varying levels of damage. This first mask is a lab exposure. It has no mechanical damage, that's no scuffs or scratches, but does have moderate thermal damage, which isn't visible to the naked eye. The second mask has scuffs and scratches from use on the fire ground, but doesn't have any micro cracking associated with thermal damage. The third mask has scuffs and scrapes, damage from use on the fire ground. It also has micro cracking, indicating thermal damage. From this view, we can't see the micro cracking from the thermal damage, and even if I hold my phone up and inspect the face piece, that micro cracking isn't visible. Using the phone flashlight and a background, we can inspect our face piece for damage not visible to the naked eye. We can see the damage in the shadow caused by changes in the refraction and reflection of light through the lens. In the lab exposed mask, we can see the shadow of the thermal damage focused around the top of the mask. In the second mask, we see some shadow from the nicks and scrapes but don't see any evidence of micro cracking. In the third mask, we see significant micro cracking, indicating possible degradation of the mask that we were unaware of just by looking at the nicks and scuffs. We can further use this technique to document damage over time. By using a second phone or a camera, you can document the development of damage over the lifetime of the lens especially if you hold the camera in a consistent location. We hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out our website and follow us on Twitter at IFSI Research.